Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, a principal owner of a school and a tutorial center, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. Today's lesson is multiplication and division of integers. We've learned in my previous video that the integers are the set of negative counting numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on and so forth, 0, and positive counting numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3. Please watch my previous video about addition and subtraction of integers and about the set of signed numbers or about integers. Now, before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe, press the red subscribe button and the bell button. Okay, these are the rules for multiplication and division of integers. When you have like signs, like positive times positive is positive, negative times negative is positive, meaning whenever you have like signs and the operation is multiplication and division, the answer is always positive. And when the signs are unlike, like positive times negative is negative. Negative times positive is negative. So when the signs are unlike, the answer is always negative. Now, let's take uh, numerous examples so that you will really understand and learn the rules, the very simple rules. Number one, seven times three. This means that 7 is positive, 3 is positive, so positive times positive is positive. 7 times 3 is 21, or you can just write it as 21. Next, number 2, negative 7 times negative 3, negative, negative. Like signs, the answer is positive, 7 times 3 is 21. Next. Negative 7 times positive 3. Negative times positive is negative. Unlike signs, the answer is always negative. So we have here 7 times 3 is 21. There. Number 4. Positive 10 times negative 5. Positive times negative is negative. 10 times 5 is 50. So the answer is negative 50. Here, 2 cubed. 2 cubed means, as you have learned, 2 is the base, 3 is the exponent. This would mean that you have to multiply the base 2 3 times. So we have here 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 2 times 2, 4 times 2 is 8. Meaning positive times positive is positive times positive is positive. What about if, uh, I'll add another one here. What if we have negative 2 quantity Q? You'll be having negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. It means negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 times negative 2, that will give you a negative 8. By the way, you always have to remember that when you have a negative base and an even exponent, the answer will always be positive. For example, negative 2, that's a negative base, even exponent, positive 2, your answer will be Positive 4 because negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Let us say here another example. You have negative 3 raised to the 4. See, the base is negative. Your exponent is even. So you will multiply negative 3 4 times there. Negative times negative is positive 9. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. 9 times 9 is positive 81. So therefore, 
if I have here, let us say, negative 1 raised to the 100, what is your answer? Observe that the base is negative, the exponent is even. You have 1 times 1 is 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, still 1. And this is even, your answer is positive 1. Now, when the base is negative, negative base, and your exponent is an odd number, then your answer will be negative. That's an example here. Example, negative 2 raised to the third power here. What did we get? Negative 8. There. Another example, let's say you have here negative 3 raised to the third power, odd exponent. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Positive 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. So, if you have here, uh, let us say, a negative 1 raised to the 1,011, which is an odd number. 1 times 1 is 1 times 1, 1 times 1, 1. It will always be 1. But since the exponent is odd, you get negative 1. And so on and so forth. So, here, what kind of a number do we get? Negative base, even exponent, your answer will be positive. 5 times 5 is 25. Next, this is different. Your answer will always be negative here because this means that you get negative 1 times 3 to the 4. So this is negative 1 times 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27 times 3, 81. So the answer will always be negative 81. So if there is a negative number there outside, it means there is a negative 1, so your answer will always be a negative. This is different. This means that you're multiplying negative 3 four times. So negative times negative is positive, times negative is negative, times negative that will be positive. So 3 times 3, 9, times 3, 27, times 3, 81. Or we go back to the root, negative base, even exponent, you get positive. A positive answer here. This will give you an even number, isn't it? Positive 4. And this will also give you an, I mean, this gives you an even and a positive number. This gives you a positive number 2 there. So, negative 2 squared is positive 4, negative 3 squared is positive 9, 4 times 9 is 36. There. What about this? There's a negative outside, so as you have learned here, this is negative 36 because this means negative 1 times 6 squared times Negative 2 cubed is negative 8. So you have here negative, this gives us negative 36 times negative 8. Did you get that? So this one gives you a negative answer. This is also negative. So negative times negative will be giving you a positive. 36 times 8, that's multiply here. 8 times 6, 48, carry 4. 8 times 3, 24, plus 4, 28. So your answer is 288. On number 11, I made it a little complicated. So negative 15 times negative 3 squared is positive 9. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 over negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. Now, we can cancel this and this. It gives us a negative 1 and a 1 here. Negative 1 times 9 
is negative 9 over 1. That gives you a negative 9. Let's move on to division. Rules are the same. For like signs, the answer is positive. So positive divided by positive is positive. Negative divided by negative is also positive. For unlike signs, the answer is always negative. Positive times negative is negative, and negative divided by positive is negative. Did I say here? Plus positive divided by negative is negative. Okay, let, let me give you many examples so that uh, you will understand the rules. Number 12. Negative 6 divided by negative 2 is, like signs, the answer is always positive. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then negative over negative is positive. Negative over positive is negative. It would be better if you write the sign first. 81 divided by 9 is 9. Positive divided by positive is positive. 72 divided by 8 is 9. Then we've learned that when it is positive 9, you can write simply 9. It's understood to be positive 9. Negative 6 squared divided by negative 6. This will give us a positive number 36 divided by a negative number 6. So positive divided by negative is negative. 36 divided by 6 is 6. Here, in this case, we have a negative 6 squared here. So you have to take note that if it is negative 6 squared, this means you have a negative 1 times 6 squared. So the answer is negative 1 times 36 or negative 36. There. So this is negative 36 divided by negative 6. So negative over negative is positive. 36 divided by 6 is 6. Positive 6 or 6. Now, here we have to apply the rule I've given you a while ago that when the base is negative and the exponent is even, the answer is 1. I positive rather. For example, let's have again negative 1 raised to the 10th power. Even, this is negative. The answer is 1. Whereas, if it is negative 1 raised to the 11, negative base, negative base odd exponent gives us a negative answer. So, negative 1, negative base odd exponent, this gives us a negative 1. Another example, so negative 1 raised to the 22, what is that? This is even, this is negative, so positive 1. Whereas if we have negative 1 raised to the 25, this is odd, this is negative, we have a negative 1. Now let's have a longer problem here. Negative 1 raised to an even exponent, that is positive 1, divided by negative 1 raised to an odd exponent, it gives us a negative 1. So therefore, 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1. Now, in problem number 18, this is different. Remember, when there is a negative outside, we've learned that the answer is always negative. So, because negative 1 raised to the 100 exponent means, again, negative 1 times 1 to the 100 gives us negative 1 times 1, 1 to the 100 is 1, so that gives you a negative 1 here. So this is negative 1 divided by negative 1 to the 101 means negative 1 times 1 to the 101 is negative 1 times 1 to the 101 is still 1, that is still negative. So this is negative 1. Did you get that? Okay. So negative 1 divided by negative 1 is now positive 1.
Thank you. I hope I was of help. Always remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button. Please subscribe.